Let's talk a little bit about the exclusive rights free agents. Now, ERFAs, as they're often referred to as, uh, these are players with two or fewer seasons of service time, but they have expired contracts. So we have the darling of Cowboys Nation. We have the third string tight end, I think fourth string tight end, actually, Rico Gathers. What did you think of Rico Gathers' preseason uh, this 2017? Man, uh, I loved it. I thought he was just balling out. He actually made Kellen Moore look good. That's my Boise State alum. You know what I mean? So I'm the I'm on the Kellen Moore train. I'm like on the other on the state. Yeah, I'm on the dark side there with Kellen Moore. But anyways, he made Kellen Moore look good in a couple of those passes. He was running great routes. Again, though, the sample size is so small with him, man. But I thought his preseason was phenomenal. Yeah, I, he had seven catches for 106 and two TDs, but he only played – the two preseason games. So he didn't even have the full five preseason games that we played. Six-round draft pick out of Baylor. He was a basketball player. So small sample size, doesn't have the experience, but the talent's there. I think you bring him back. He, he's, there's, he's not, you know, he's not an unrestricted free agent. You bring him back. Hey, he either stays healthy and we see what he, what he can do this year. My question for you on that, though, I want to just see what you think in regards to the tight end position. Where does he fit for the future? Obviously, we know like he's he's pretty low on the depth chart when it comes to that. He's still a raw talent, but the fact that he made such progression from his first season till now, and now he's going into another one, you can see he's progressing. Um, right. But where do you see him fitting in? Where do you see Hannah and the rest of the guys that are in there? To be honest with you, I think he's going to get some playing time, or he should be able to get some playing time provided he shows up. Because I think Hannah is pretty much out the door because I believe the Cowboys save around $2.7 million on the cap if he's cut. And I don't think you can justify the two point seven on Hannah for the production. I do like Hannah, but when you have a player like Rico Gathers and, and you know, Cowboys fans and the coaching staff, we want answers. We want to know, is this guy going to be the guy going into 2019? Hopefully by that time. I would think Jason Witten is ready to either relish, relinquish, I should say, his role as the starter, right? And, uh, you know, or maybe even retire, and, and Rico could be the man. So I think it's important. I think with Hannah being gone, I think who do you have? Swain. So Swain. he should be a top two, three tight end on the depth chart next season, and, and get get some touches. Yeah, I agree. I would love to see him there. Um, I do think that he will be part of the future, um, a big part of it if he stays healthy. Big if, but I mean. It's, it's doable, and I'm excited to see what he's going to bring. For sure, man. Uh, last exclusive rights free agent. This, this one's just going to be a quick one. Brian Price, the big defensive tackle. Uh, we signed him from Green, the Green Bay Packers, I believe, early in the season. Uh, I think he was waived right when the final cuts were made. Mm -hmm. uh, he played in eight games. He recorded eight tackles. Ends the season on IR, knee injury. But he's size. So, again, we were kind of talking about the lack of size for David Irving. This guy isn't a, a player that we all, you know, are always got our eyes on, but you know, did you see anything from David Price that would make you think, Hey, he could be a player going into next season. From the very small <laughs> portion that I got yeah. to see of Brian Price. I'm, I'm going to say no. Um, I just, it's just too hard to say that. It's unfortunate when you have a knee injury too. I hate to tell, you know, say that about players because it is a business. It is their profession. It's, it's what they're doing for a living, but, uh, I mean, I just, I don't want to just drop him off like that, but I, I don't, I don't think that we can justify like bringing him back on. Yeah. I'm with you, man.